couple of days ago, Ubuntu 22.04 came out, and at least on YouTube, it seems to be generally liked. It's not universally loved, but at least compared to some of the recent releases, it seems like a fairly positive reception. And I'm not here to tell you that's a bad thing. I want Ubuntu to be good. But they made a little change to the default package list, which is annoying some people. So app images rely on a system known as Fuse. This is a library and set of tools for making file systems in user space. You don't have to go and like mount them directly to your hard drive. So this will be used for things like say, mounting a Windows NTFS drive with say NTFS 3G, mounting a remote drive with something like SSH FS, or even doing something like making Wayland and Flatpaks you know, somewhat more usable through XDG desktop portals. And I can make an entire video just listing out software that relies on Fuse. And not just on Linux, it works under macOS as well, but that's not really that important for this video. What is important though, is there is currently two production versions of Fuse. We have Fuse 3, this is the main version that any new application should be built around. This has been around for about six or so years, but you also have Fuse 2. And much like the migration from Python 2 to Python 3, Fuse 2 is sticking around for a lot longer than anybody would like. So to help with finally killing off Fuse 2, Ubuntu is now shipping Fuse 3 as its default. And this is great because Ubuntu is a massive distro and anybody who's been sort of, you know, lacking on doing the upgrades should be pushed to actually go and do so now. And this is great for applications like Fuse Amount, NTFS 3G, SSHFS, all of these applications which work with Fuse 3. The slight issue though, is there is one big project that doesn't use Fuse 3 yet. That being App Images. Which right now specifically states in its wiki, App Images require Fuse version 2 to run. And if you go and actually try to run it with Fuse version 3, it will not work. Now, this shouldn't really be that big of a deal, because back when Fuse 3 was first released back in 2016, this note was added to the changelog. We recommend to ship libfuse2 and libfuse3 in three separate packages. A libfuse common package that contains files shared by libfuse2 and 3, and a libfuse2 and libfuse3 package that contain the shared library and helper programs for the respective version. And this is the way it's shipped on Ubuntu. I believe the shared package is called something like Fuse, and it's the same way it's done on Arch and a bunch for the distros as well. So, no problem then. Just go and install Fuse 2 alongside Fuse 3. On my Arch system, this is exactly what I'm doing and how it lets me use both app images and XDD desktop portals on the exact same system. But you guys saw the title and you know it's not going to be that simple. Right now, if you try to install LibFuse 2 in Ubuntu, rather than getting messages saying, hey, this installed perfectly fine, what you get instead is a list of packages that need to be removed. And one of those packages is Fuse 3. And when Fuse 3 goes, everything that depends on Fuse 3 also goes as well. So if you're using, say, the Wayland version of GNOME, well, you're going to lose your XG desktop portals. If you need to mount any NTFS drives, that's not going to work either. Oh, and I also might delete the uh, Ubuntu desktop package, which is really bad because that's basically the meta package, which includes everything for your desktop. Funnily enough though, from the NTFS 3G side, there's no reason why it really needs to be removed because NTFS 3G supports both Fuse 3 and Fuse 2. On Ubuntu, it is built against Fuse 3, but over on the Arch side, it is built against Fuse 2. I'm guessing it's like this because they've left in the migration code from a couple of years ago and never felt any reason to go and remove it. So there are two major issues here. Firstly, app images should not be built with Fuse 2 in 2022. This project has been in maintenance mode for about six years now. There have been no major new releases or anything of the sort. The fact that it's still using it is kind of insane. Now, using Fuse 2 is perfectly fine in cases where, you know, security doesn't really matter. But considering that one of the selling points of an app image is the fact that it's containerized, it sort of defeats the whole purpose when you're using this ancient software. Luckily though, the devs are fully aware of the problem, and since the 26th of March, there has been an issue open about this exact problem. Because prior to the release of 2004, 
they knew it was going to be shipping with Fuse 3, and they knew this would be a problem. Not a problem in the same sense that we see it now, but they knew at least it wouldn't work out of the box. And while I don't understand the technical changes that need to be made, judging from what I'm seeing here, it doesn't seem like it's anything that's going to require, you know, months and months or years and years of work. It seems like something they just need to sit down and get done, and probably in like a month or so, everything is going to be fine. Except for the fact that every single app image would need to be rebuilt as well. And sure, for the popular main applications using app image, these would be addressed fairly quickly. But there is going to be a lot of applications that don't get updated for a month two months, six months, a year, or even longer than that, and a sudden migration is going to put app image on life support. But the second problem is Ubuntu itself, and it's frankly broken packaging of Fuse. LibFuse 3 and LibFuse 2 are co-installable. There is literally no reason why these packages should be conflicting. Other distros get them installed perfectly fine. They are not a direct upgrade and downgrade line, and this should only be used when the application is a drop-in replacement. So let's say, you know, Firefox 99 and Firefox 100. We know these applications are going to be similar enough where you can replace one with the other and there's going to be no problem whatsoever. This isn't like that. This is a Python 2 to Python 3 situation and you can't just go and replace them. What's really strange though is this problem isn't consistent across every single Star Ubuntu release. So over on Zubuntu, this bug report was submitted and since then it has been addressed. If we go look at the package list that's available, Fuse 2 is now inside of that list. On Mate, it was working from the start, but then the main version of Ubuntu, it still has this problem. And these two tweets basically sum up why the problem exists. Since Fuse is in universe and only Fuse 3 is in main, it can't be added to the default image without a main inclusion request, and it may be a bit late for that, but good luck. There is a zero chance of Fuse 2 getting back into main. The security team have to sign off on main inclusion requests to support it for the life of the LTS. I simply do not see that happening as Fuse 2 was last updated in 2018. Now, I as a user don't really care if there is some distribution policy that stops you from doing it. What is more important to me is the fact that I want to be using this, not your management issues that are going to make things break. And I'm sure that maintaining a distro is a lot of work, and problems like this are going to slip through the cracks. And I don't use Ubuntu as my daily driver, but many people out there do, and many people also want to be using app images as well. So I hope to see this getting addressed in due time, and I don't know, maybe by the time that you guys see this, the problem has already been fixed. So let me know your thoughts down below. Do you use app images? Do you use Ubuntu 20.04? Does this change really annoy you? Or are you just going to like manually install Fuse 2 and then it's not really a problem for you? I would love to know. So if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. And if you really like the video and want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe, Stony Barrow Pay, linked in the description down below. Podcast, Tech of Tea, Gaming Channel, Brew Rubs and Plays coming back very soon. And that's going to be it for me. So.